by Dallas, make it hurt. Shalom, and welcome to part five of Revealing the Sod of Sephirah. With that being said, let's get straight into it. It states here regarding Aleph separates Mem from Shin. The Rosh head was created from fire, Eitzchayim, and the belly was created from Mem, water. And we can see that the Shin top three are Kether, Hokma, and Bina, and the Aleph is Chesek, Avur, and Tifreth. The top of Mem is Netzach and Hod, the bottom of Mem as you saw it in the final mem, is Malkut. It is important to note here that in addition to the light being divided by the principles, the very tree itself was created in its image, as it was stated in Eitzchayim. The Rosh head was created from fire, Eish. As it is known that Shin has three points that are the Sephirot, Keter, Hokma, and Bina called head, and this is sufficient. Similarly, Mem was called the belly for the same reason. Understand... The sages whispered that before existence was principle. Let's quote this. Chapter 6 in Book 1, called The Palace of Adam Kadmon, it states, Now we say that Aleph, Mem, and Shin are according to the following configuration in Sefer Yetzirah. The first three are the three lines of Shin, because the head was created from fire. Aleph is composed of the middle ones, Chesed, Gavur, and Tiferet, because the body was created from the air, Ruach. Chesed and Gevura are the two Yods, and the Aleph and Tiferet is the Vav in the middle of the Aleph. As mentioned in many places in the Zohar, the open Mem in Yisod includes the lower three because the belly was created from the water, etc. Chapter 4, The Gate of the Kings. In this chapter, we will discuss the world of Atiluth, emanation. We will explain how it came into existence and its constructions and in the process reveal the secret of the Ancient of Days. These secrets are whispered about by the words of our sages, as will be mentioned by the Zohar and the Lurianic Kabbalah. As stated in Eitzchayim, one should understand there were countless, endless worlds before the world of emanation. To enter this mystery, we will return to the beginning, the very beginning, and understand everything was endless light. The substance of this simple light filled every and all things. This simple light being nothing other than the truth of his glory, which would be the essence that would fill the vessels, which are the letters. We should not imagine there were even letters in this place, but only principles, the reflection of his glory. And this place was called nearness or iron. Let us quote. In branch four, book one, the palace of Adam Kadmon. It should not rise in your mind, and you should not make the mistake to think that the ten sephirot, which are called the ten sephirot of emanation within the Zohar, are more ancient and higher than anything emanated, because many worlds preceded them. In the beginning, all was endless, simple light. This light filled the substance of all things, and all things were of its substance. Its light expanded to the boundary of the endless in all directions, and there was no end to its boundary. One should not imagine that even the letters were in this place, but that it was the reflection of his glory, the truth of his word, which is the essence of the letters. This was the kether of the ancient of days, and it should not cross your mind that there is a sense of time here. The only thing existing here being the principles. And the principles themselves were the only thing that was in this place. When it arose that he would have a desire, the endless light constricted itself. This constriction was from all directions, precisely in the center. It restricted its light, precisely in the center, creating an infinitely dense and infinitely deep hard spark. The vacant space that was now created precisely in the center of the surrounding light that would become the vessel of his desire and the vessels of the worlds. This was called Ayin Sof. As the light restricted itself, the spectrum of its principles were revealed. This is the secret of the Nikudim, or vowels. 
In life, this principle of restriction, called simsum or contraction, it is the secret of the breath. Principle. All life will breathe, restriction and expansion, and all things will be circular on the largest and smallest scales. This is the hokma of the Ancient of Days and Adam Kadman, who is the circular aspect as we know. Let us quote these. In Eitzheim, the palace of Adam Kadman in branch 4, it states here, Adam Kadman is so superior and great and hidden that it is not dealt with in the Zohar except in a few short places. But this is also done in a very hidden way. I will mention a few of them from the Tikkunim. At the end of Tikkun 19, 41b, it says, He said to him, This is how it is known that there is a most ancient Adam Kadmon, and there is another Adam. Regarding this, it goes on to state, We will now begin to explain this subject. Know that the first light that emanated within this place via the straight line, which extended from Ein Sof, that surrounds everything. As mentioned in branch 2, are the ten sephirot that are collectively called in this discourse the most ancient Adam Kadmon, as mentioned above. Now the ten sephirot of Adam Kadmon include all the aspects mentioned in branch 2 and 3. These ten sephirot first emanated and were revealed in the circular aspect, which is the aspect of the nefesh of Adam Kadmon. They have the aspect of ten circular vessels, and each vessel has an interior and an exterior. Everything is the aspect of the vessels. Each vessel has the essence of an inner light clothed within it, which is called nefesh. Furthermore, the aspect of the surrounding light envelops it, and it is also the aspect of the nefesh. Everything has a circular aspect. The outermost circle, which includes all the other circles, is attached and joined to Ein Sof. Ein Sof surrounds and envelops it. This outermost circle is the highest and greatest of them all, as mentioned in branch 3. It is the aspect of the circle of the Kether of Adam Kadmon. There is a second circle within this circle, which is called the circle of the Hokma of Adam Kadmon. The ten circles follow this concentric pattern until the tenth innermost circle, and it is called the circle of the Malkuth of Adam Kadmon. We find that these ten circles of Adam Kadmon envelop the entire void within Ein Sof and are joined to it and Ein Sof, envelops and surrounds them. However, a void, airy, empty place remained in the middle of these ten circles that was necessary for the remaining emanations and worlds that are also in the aspect of concentric circles, as mentioned in branch 3. Now that we have revealed that this indeed is the circular aspect tied to Hokma, and that this also is Adam Kadman, who is the concentric circles. We've also learned that this is connected to the ion, the upper surrounding light. It mentions a void place that was made precisely in the center, which will be our next subject. And again, this is the Hokma of the Ancient of Days in Adam Kodmon, who is the circular aspect as we know. We learn from this that on the highest level, everything is circular, mainly the planets circling each other. And its constriction, which is precisely in the center, means that on the smallest level, everything is also circular. Thus, we find, in regards to the subatomic level, everything is also circular and spinning. And the spark, precisely in the center, was infinitely deep and infinitely dense. This was called Ein Sof Or. And Ein Sof is the same numerical value as Or, mainly 207. This was signified by the 231 gates, which is every letter of the 22 letters with every other letter, as it is written in Sefer Yetzirah, Aleph with every letter and every letter with Aleph, etc. It is known that these are the backs and fronts of the Sefirot, in the secret of a tree on top of a tree. Thus the preformation in the secret of a tree on top of a tree and back-to-back -back pairings in the secret of the two halves of the brain. This is Bina of the Ancient of Days, and it is known that Bina is the mystery of the brain. Thus, the heart spark represents all possibilities, and is the Malkuth of Adam Kadmon, which the body of the Ancient of Days was constructed. Thus, the upper endless light poured into this hollow vacant place, 
from which the constriction occurred and the vessels were first formed. As with the restriction of the endless light descended, this hollow vacant place of vessels and struck this hard spark. This was referred to in the Zohar, and it was stated, like sparks from the workman's hammer. Similarly, this hard spark was not able to endure the upper light, and sparks were removed. These sparks, namely being the secret of the seven letters in the Hebrew alphabet that have Dagin, we will now discuss this in more depth. Similarly, we will find at the top of the skull a soft spot, which in the image of this hard spark, that was struck by the light. This being the position of Bina, which is the secret of the brain, as was demonstrated. Remember this, as will be mentioned later, in the secret of the letters. Thus we see that the 22 letters, and in their configuration, Aleph with every letter and every letter with Aleph, as mentioned in Sefer Yetzirah, here, is the congealing of every principle with every other principle, thus creating the desire, which is the totality of all possibility. And desire is something outside of yourself, something that is fulfilled. And so it was in the beginning with Hashem. The associations with Aleph, to Kether, Beit, to Hokma, Gimel, to Bina, Dalet, to Da'ath, etc., is found here in Sefer Omek Hamalek, and here in Gate Aleph, we find in the mystery of the 231 gates that Aleph is the front of Keter, Bait is the front of Hokmah, Gimel is the front of Bina, and so on and so forth. We also find that Lamed is the backside of Keter, as stated here, and Hokmah. Uh, Mem is the backside of Hokmah, and Noon is the backside of Bina, etc. This is because, regarding the 231 gates, Sefer Yetzirah states this. It states here, in chapter 2, verse 4, in Sefer Yetzirah, 22 foundation letters, he placed them in a circle, referring to the hard spark, like a wall with 231 gates, because that is the number of combinations that are made. The circle oscillates back and forth, and this is our keyword. In the Hebrew it says Hagilgul Fanaim Ba'achor. Fanaim literally means fronts, and Ba'achor means backs. And from this we learn that the twenty-two letters are the fronts and backs of the Sephira, respectively. Thus, this being the secret of the heart spark and the bina of the ancient of days, is in the secret of our brain, mainly that our left and right side of our brains are after the likeness of the fronts and backs of the Sephira. Furthermore, there is a connection between Kaf and Lamed, which is Malkuth to Kether. And from this connection, mainly the connection of the front side of Malkut with the back side of Kether, we learn that within this one sphere of Kether, the back side, the entire tree of the fronts presides. And this is the sod of why it mentions in Sefer Yira is the secret of preformation, mainly that the body has a tree of the face in the kether to the tree of the body. Therefore, we have the two halves of our brain, our pineal gland, our two eyes, our nose, our ears, and our mouth. And all of these aspects will be concealed in the kether of the tree of our body, as demonstrated. Now, back to Eitzheim in branch four, in the palace of Adam Kadmon, book one. It states here, Parsha 13. Now, after these first ten sephirot of Adam Kadmon, referring to the circular aspect we just revealed in Sefer Yira, emerged and were revealed, which are the aspect of the Nefesh, ten other sephirot emerge in Adam Kadmon, which are the aspect of Ruach. This is the linear aspect, like the appearance of a man having a tall, upright stature composed of 248 members. The tall figure has a head, arms, palms, body, and feet. It began to extend from the surrounding iron sof via the aforementioned line. From there and below, the figure of the man includes three lines, right, left, and center. The ten linear sephiro are included within them, as mentioned above in branch two, which means there is a circular aspect and a linear aspect that is created from this. Now, although this line, which is the linear form of Adam Kadmon, began to spread from iron sof, which is the Hokma we learned, 
and penetrate and enter all the circles from their highest tops, do not think that this line extended and spread down to the end of all the circles, which is their lowest side, that curves below the feet of the linear atom Kadmon. It did, however, only spread to the beginning of the bottom of the circles of Atikyomim, the Ancient of Days, which is the characterization of the Kether of the world of emanation, as will be shown in its proper place. The circles of Atikyomim curve below the feet of the linear atom Kadmon, as will be shown. From this, we learn that there is the surrounding endless light, the constriction in Simsum, which revealed the principles and the dispensation of light, and the hard spark. We learned that in the highest point, only principle existed here. And here, those principles began to be revealed, as well as the preparation of the tense of fear of emanation. And we learned that the light pours into this place and that there's a hard spark, which is the exact center of the constriction, and that this light will eventually strike this hard spark, beginning the process of creation. Now let us quote one other place before we come to our conclusion. In Zohar, Book 1, in a section called Making an Engraving Upon the Supernal Light, it speaks of everything I just spoke of. With the beginning of the manifestation of the king's will, that is, when the king desired to emanate and create the world, a hard spark made an engraving upon the supernal light. This hard spark, which emanated from the most concealed of all concealed things, from the secret of the endless light, I and so forth, took a shapeless form. The spark was then inserted to the center of a circle that was neither white nor black, nor red nor green, nor any color at all. When it began its measurements, it created colors that shone into the empty space and the engraving from within the spark. This hard spark, a fountain spouted from which the shades down below received their colors. With that being said, that concludes the sod of the first section of the Gate of Kings. If you guys would like to obtain a physical copy of Sefer Year for yourselves, I will leave a link down below in which you can find it. And above all things, the mysteries that were placed inside of this book are the highest and deepest of the Kabbalistic mysteries, especially having been revealed in such a plain way. Blessed be Hashem who has permitted such things to be revealed in this day. And above all things, may He and He alone be glorified. Shalom, Selah.